Hey guys, it's Ken again with another set of uh, UVM questions. So this is um, a second part to the config uh, DB um, series essentially. Um, so in this particular video, I'll be covering how and why um, a configuration database is used and how set and get functions, which are the main functions of a UVM config DB uh, implemented what are the parameters how what kind of arguments you provide so we're going to go over uh, some examples of that all right let's uh, jump right into it so I think the first question we'd like to know why and how um, config DB is used so let's start off with the why so in these these days we have very complex test benches and we need a way uh, to communicate um, across um, different components within uh, the test bench to either synchronize events, pass interfaces, pass variables, config parameters um, from one component to the other or, 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 or basically have certain, let's say, virtual interfaces available to a lot of, um, a lot of UVM components. Um, so, so we need a mechanism to so like um, provide handles to do that kind of a, uh, operation. So config DB provides a good way uh, to do so. Um, so config DB is an internal database which has a key value combination. Um, so uh, first, first thing first, how is the key of this particular config DB constructed? So key is nothing more um, than the concatenation of the first three parameters of the set or the get functions of the config DB. So the first one is the context, which is of type UVM component, the instance name, which is a string, and the field name, which is also the string. So all of these three combined together forms the hierarchical path to um, hierarchical path, which we can call the key. And the key is pointing to a value. Um, this particular value is basically uh, a, a parameter for the, uh, uh, for basically the UVM config DB class to determine the object uh, type essentially. Um, so it can be int, it can be string, or or other kinds of UVM object types. Um, it could be a bus interface, like for the when we're trying to sort of like pass the virtual interface from the test bench to the driver. So various different examples. One exception to all of this is if you have enums um, type variables, then you need to make sure uh, this parameter is int. Um, because otherwise, um, the set function does not, there's, there's no one-to-one -one correlation then. Um, so it's important to use int, so it makes it easier to sort of like, um, uh, set a particular enum variable and be able to retrieve it. So let's look at the function definitions of the set and the get. So the set function is pretty much this, um, like we said, it returns nothing, it's used for storing, and uh, you have the context, the instance name, and the field name, and of course, uh, the value. And uh, get, on the other hand, basically is used to retrieve um, a particular um, handle, um, and then uh, this, basically, if you're successful in finding a field name already defined in the config DB, then uh, the get function returns an, a one. Otherwise, it returns a zero, meaning let's say the set didn't happen properly. So here we have highlighted the four um, parameters. So like we just said, set is to store or update the field um, inside the config. Get is to basically retrieve that field um, and uh, basically, or or a handle to that field. And then uh, if we are successful, then we get a one, zero, if you're not. 
So cont uh, context and inter uh, instance name together essentially provide the hierarchical path or the location. Um, and uh, the field name is essentially basically the object's real name in the config DB. So it's basically stored as, let's say, a string, the object uh, config name. And uh, all of all, all of these together essentially basically forms our key, like I said earlier. And then the value is basically the actual handle to the object uh, that we are trying to retrieve, essentially. So that's about it. Let's look into some implementation. All right, so the next question is regarding how the set and get function of the UVM config DB um, used. So let's look at some implementation examples. So the first example we're going to be looking at is going to be uh, for set. And what we want to see is how we store a virtual interface. Uh, this is an example, and I'll go over the details of this, um, go, go over each uh, argument in a little bit. Uh, and the next example for set we want to look at is how within the agent or within an agent uh, we sort of like assign a value from the config DB to uh, a monitor's um, variable. So what is set essentially? So we know set is for storing um, or updating a field configuration or an interface or a variable uh, for a given context, right? Um, so the first example is uh, where we are storing uh, a virtual interface. So this typically is kind of like, think of it this way, how we connect the dot to the driver. So uh, through the virtual interface, right? So we want to provide this to the driver. So we put in the config DB and uh, we retrieve it in, in the driver um, so that we can so like drive uh, the pins with whatever data value, uh, whatever the um, uh, whatever values we are getting from the sequence, for instance, that needs to be driven onto the driver. So over here, you have your config DB. Uh, this is parameterized with, uh, with a virtual bus interface. Um, here, this is being called, this, this function is typically called um, inside the initial block of the symptom um, because you want to set a virtual interface before you start getting it or retrieving it, right? So that's why we put it in the initial block. And then uh, we put a null here because uh, context, if you guys remember, is of type UVM component, right? So you want to put a null here so so that the whole context is going to be provided by um, the uh, instance name instead the hierarchical context essentially so we because um, we cannot put a uvm component uh, as the tv top is not that right so we put a null here then we have the UV, uvm test top which corresponds to the top level test instance then we have an environment which is sort of like instantiated within the test and then within the environment, we'd have a bus agent. Um, so like I said, um, since this is null, uh, we know that the instance name is provided. Um, uh, instance name provides the full hierarchy, essentially. And then this is sort of like um, a ma matching character, right? So if you have a plus that corresponds to any bus agent um, in this hierarchy, uh, with uh, one or more additional characters, right? So it could be agent one, two, three, four, or 12, or whatever. So you have it that way. Uh, here, this is the type of the interface that you're parameterizing it with. Uh, plus is basically exactly one or more characters that need to be matched. Then you have within the config DB, you have uh, Field name is called my bus VIF virtual interface, and within this, within these agents, whichever are the matching ones, uh, uh, you want to call this my bus VIF as well. Uh, so they have that, and you want to match it with that. So 
that's uh, that's a set example. Next, we have um, inside a UVM uh, agent, for instance. Um, you're trying to assign um, the agent that say has a monitor and or has multiple monitors for instance and um, the other thing is you have um, uh, within the monitor you have a var variable uh, my well right so you want to sort of like have it available to um, the config db and it's of type string for instance so you're setting it over here so this is what you're doing essentially um uh, and then basically over here question mark if you have it that corresponds to exactly one character so it could be monitor a b c d e whatever one character or it could be alphanumeric whatever that character is either one through zero um, or zero through nine and then basically a through z and uh, all of those are going to match but if you have two characters then that won't match essentially and of course, this is what goes in the config DB, and this is the actual value. Uh, let's see how get works. So we have two examples of get. One is an enum variable, uh, let's say from a sequence being sent to another test bench module. So let's say w w within the sim top, you have a module and you want to get, um, you want to get, um, an enum um, which is sort of like was configured by some sequence or something they, they're various different ways so let's say we, we have a scenario like this over here you want to ensure that you parameterize it with an int um, and then since this is sort of like a module at the test bench level let's say this is one level below so if if you if you're if you're sort of like one level below the top so you can't you don't typically put null you want to do UVM root get, uh, which basically is going to uh, make sure you point to the top level, um, uh, essentially um, uh, top level hierarchical root, essentially, uh, you're going to point to that. So when you, when you, whenever you're referencing something above, uh, you want to call the UVM root get essentially. So that's what happens. Um, star corresponds to zero or more characters. So it's kind of like a global uh, assignment uh, that we are sort of like doing so so my enum uh, val in everything um, at this level for instance is going to be assigned the config db value that's over here inside the config db value whatever exists for my enum val gets assigned for all of these things that match uh, at this level so that's what's happening here uh, then over here if you want to sort of like do an assignment at your level like for instance um let's say at the agent level itself so you would instead of giving any other context the agent is of type uvm component so you put it this and uh, basically since you're pointing th th this field name exists at that same level so you need you need not have an instance here for instance right so you would directly say my well uh, uh, so, uh, so basically my well will get this value. So that's, uh, that's what's happening here. And that's about it, um, in terms of the questions, uh, in terms of this particular question. So let me know if you have any other questions or comments, um, and I'll be more than happy to answer those. Okay. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Take care.